So today I will show you how you can use Simple Bake to bake your textures in Blender. You have to just go to Marketplace and you have to search for Simple Bake. So you have to just install that add-on in your Blender and then you will get a option of Simple Bake in your render option. This is the Simple Bake interface and you will get all kind of baking options there. So there is a model of a object. So if I go to the material view, you can see that I have some kind of rubber texture in this one and we have some emission and another rubber texture so if i go to the material property of this model then you will see that i have three different type of textures in one model so basically what you have to do you have to just go to your data property you can just create another uv for your model because if you if i click on my main uv auto map then you will notice that it is all messed up so you have to make sure that your model is properly UV unwrapped before baking or else it will create some kind of issues. So after that what you have to do you have to just create a new UV and you have to name this thing simple bake. I will just remove this thing for now because I already have that simple bake UV map. So in this one you have to select your UV map and, and you have to go to your UVs and what you can do you can just press E to select all and then press U and then smart UV project and it will automatically do the UV unwrapping for you. So when that is done you have to just go to the UV and then you will get the option of pack island. You have to click on that and it will pack your UVs in a proper way. So it is something like that in my case. It will be different in your case. So after that, when that is done, you have to rename this thing properly. Simple way and make sure that you are properly write the spelling of this because if the spelling is wrong, then it will not work. So when everything is done, you have to just go to your render section again. Go to your PBR option and you can leave the edit mode. In the bake option, you have to click on that and you have to add your object. So just click on add and it will add your object. So this is my object. Then you can close this. So in the PBR option, you will see that we have all kind of maps. So in my case, I just need diffuse, um, roughness, normal and and I need emission because I have emissions. You have to make sure that you are using this emission, not this one. And if you need extra textures, then you can select anything. So just close this. There we have a special bag. You can also uh, bake ambient occlusion and everything. So I will just close this thing. There is the texture settings and in the texture settings, there is the bake at and there is the output. So I will just use 2K textures. So it will bake the textures in 2K resolution. And if I want to output this 2K into 4K, then I can do that also. So you have to just click on add add. And now it will bake the texture in 2K and then it will export the textures in 4K. So after this, you can just close this one and you can export your bakes also and you can export your mesh. But in my case, I just need to bake this texture. I will export my mesh separately. So there we have our export path. So it will just create a folder in your main uh, Blender file where your Blender file exists. So it will just create a folder of simple bake and in which it will store all your textures the height, normal map and everything. And in this one, you can also use subfolder per object because right now I'm just using one object. But if you have multiple objects, then you can add multiple objects in the big object and then you can render multiple things. And then you can leave this thing like that and you can close this. Then we have the UV settings and this is very important. You will see two options, new UV maps and auto detect UDIMs. So you have to select auto detect because we already create our simple bake UV textures. When you select auto detect, you have a option of prefer existing UVs called simple bake. You have to just make sure that your UVs are properly named and make sure that you write the spelling properly or else it will not work. After that, you can just close this one and other setting you can leave this thing like that, channel packing, nothing. So you have two options, foreground and background. So in the foreground, it will bake your textures. In foreground, it means you can't use your blender, but in background, it will bake your textures in background and you can use anything or you can model anything in basically you can use your blender while baking i will recommend you to use foreground because it is much faster than background so after doing this settings everything you have to just click on bake and now you can see you will get this type of interface and in the bottom you will see texture baking and it is right now zero percent and it will bake all your normal maps height map and diffuse roughness and everything and you don't have to do anything. So when your baking is done, you will see this type of message that your old ground baking is completed and you baked four images. So you have to just press OK. And now if you go to your folder of your baking, if I click on export, so now you can see we have four different type of textures that is baked in. And now you can use it in any softwares or any game engine or anything. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I think this will help you. Thank you for watching.